He always walked like an old man. Like I said, it's so loud. You didn't hear it He always walked like an old man. Like I said, it's so loud, you didn't hear it hmm. Thank you. What we were doing today was blow art, and what the children were doing, or young adults, excuse me, were doing, was blow art and then inter intermingling them and then choosing the word, selecting the word for the weekend that would empower and remind them of the weekend and something that they learned, their takeaway for the weekend. So each was responsible for selecting a word. And Giannis, you can see his color of mixture of cool and warm and selected patience was one of the words that um, will bring him back to this weekend. And over here, Jaden chose potential as as his even as he mixed up his colors mm -hmm. um but the word that he selected was potential and over the, over here the word that was selected was strong and um and our last person who selected to um who added his own creative expression to it and moved from one word to a phrase because he couldn't contain it into one word. Okay, so that, you know, he had a little, little challenge with it. But what he selected was... Who's was that? The process. Surprise this, me, Jaden. No, Jaden did potential. Okay, so who's that? Kenny. Kenny. Okay. Kenny, Looks like so, a mess to me, but Yeah, so at each of them explained their reason for their selection. So you may want to talk with them and interview them and find out why they actually selected those particular words and those terms that they thought was most appropriate to highlight the weekend. Okay. Thank you. What about the words you used in your painting? Explain it to me. Okay. So I use uh, trust the process because in life, um, you know, you go through a lot of difficult paths and life is not easy. So when your time comes, you need to like be patient, trust the process, like just work and keep working hard. And then when your opportunity comes, you need to be prepared for it. And that's, and I think that was like the maxim of this week because during, uh, for example, Giannis, my, uh, one of my post teammates, he, he had uh, two bad games, but he got traded and his coach uh, was um, leading him through the, like, the game. And those like six games, he was like going off, dropping 30, left hand, right hand, and he was just doing good. So that was like, that was, yeah, that was like a good word to use in my opinion. Okay, Jaden, how about you? Tell me about your work. Well, my paper. You can see in the aura, it's very bright and it's very vibrant. And the word potential it has to do with the word and how the word is used and how the word is misused and how it's overused. And potential, I think, in my opinion, is when something doesn't have great value but can have great value someday when you have when you put work into it. So potential is just really. It's just really a what if for a lot of stuff. And I think that's how it's misused and overused. Okay, thank you. Giannis, you want to add to your work? Uh, my word is patience. And it's just talking about like, just letting things happen and being patient and not like rushing anything and just letting time do its thing. Like trust the process. It's like, like that. Also, my colors are like outer space. Like it looks like a nebula. So that's come, it goes in with like time and everything. So yeah, it's like it's like Kenny's trust uh, trust the process and just letting things happen and not rushing. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. You did very well. The Pulse Experience. What we were doing today was blow art, and what the children were doing, or young adults, excuse me, were doing, was blow art and then inter intermingling them and then choosing the word, selecting the word for the weekend 
that would empower and remind them of the weekend and something that they learned their takeaway for the weekend. So each was responsible for selecting a word. And Giannis, you can see his color of mixture of cool and warm and selected patience was one of the words that um, will bring him back to this weekend. And over here, Jaden chose potential as, as his, even as he mixed up his colors. Mm -hmm. um, but the word that he selected was potential. And over, the, over here, the word that was selected was strong. And um, and our last person who selected to um, who added his own creative expression to it and moved from one word to a phrase because he couldn't contain it into one word. Okay, so that you know he had a little little challenge with it, but. What he selected was Who's that? the process. Surprise this, me, Jaden. No, Jaden did potential. Okay, so who's that? Kenny. Kenny. Okay. Kenny, Looks like so, a mess to me, but. Yeah, so I, each of them explained their reason for their selection. So you may want to talk with them and interview them and find out why they actually selected those particular words and those terms that they thought was most appropriate to highlight. The weekend. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. They're trying on shoes that they're not going to get because it's not a circuit tournament we're going through. They all get so excited. They're not getting the shoes. Okay. Sorry, Kenny will get a pair if we go to go. Take a picture of mine. So I can't let these guys outshine my my uh -huh. girl. Thank you very much. <laughs> and happy anniversary to you as well. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> uh. Good morning. Thank you. <laughs> happy these anniversary. Are beautiful. Oh.